All right, I am fixing to head out. So I'm gonna be heading out towards Eastern Oklahoma and uh, meet up with my mom and my sister. And we're gonna go to some kind of backwoods local swimming holes and go metal detect them and do a little searching in the creeks with the scuba mask and all that kind of stuff. Creek probably isn't gonna be deep enough to, uh, to actually scuba dive, so we'll probably do a lot of snorkeling. I've got, um, I went ahead and brought my scuba gear. And I've got some land metal detectors, scuba tanks, umbrella for mom to keep the sun off of her, and, uh, and all that good stuff. So I got all my gear. That's gonna be my first trip, is out to hit two, two local swimming holes. Well, it's the next morning. We're all loaded up. Looks like it's gonna be my sister, mom, dad, and myself all going to the creek to do some searching. Well, after about two hour drive, we have located it. The first swim hole we're gonna check out. It is a lot bigger than what I expected. It's like uh, probably nearly three times as wide as I expected. But I'm gonna get that metal detector out and check down below these holes here. Definitely looks like a good spot. All right, today's gear is the Tesoro Tiger Shark underwater pinpointer. And I have a little backup wand metal detector for Cindy to use. I don't think I'm gonna need the scuba gear here but we'll just have to see how deep that hole is over there. So anyways, obviously switching to the GoPro, gonna use the head mount for a while. All right, first target, bullet casing. I decided to get in the water. Why did you find a battery? Well, there's a lot of boulders in here and crack my knees on. Sure is pretty over here. This is a struggle. These big old rocks have cracks that are deep and man, it is very hard to get the targets out. Beep, 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 beep,
I got a coin down here and Cindy just found a pair of needle nose pliers and I cannot get these rocks separated. <laughs> so we're probably going to be able to use a needle nose to get that coin out. Oh, awesome. I caught that on film. <laughs> Okay, or you can throw it to me. No, nope, I want to see it. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are in good shape. You ready to go down? I'll show you where it's at. Ooh. Oh, it worked perfectly. Man, I can't believe you found those just as I found this coin. What is it? Yeah, it's a nickel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't. Fancy. I don't know if you can read the date on there or not. My eyesight's not good enough. I always have to get a magnifying glass. First stinking coin, though. Man, that is more smooth, though. <laughs> it may have been down there for a while. No, I can't read it. Okay, I'll wait till I get it dried off. All right, very first coin. Man, it has been a hell of a search. All right, Cindy's going to jump over on the other side of this line of rocks. She hit the waterfall, but I'm going to hit it again but she didn't get up into those uh, rock formations. I'll go hit it real quick. Looks like Cindy found a pocket knife. I knew there'd be a pocket knife out here. May not be any jewelry, but there's going to be a pocket knife by gosh. <laughs> we'll take a closer look at it later. The water's been carving on these rocks for a long time. Oh my goodness, technical difficulties. Batteries died on my GoPro. Batteries died on the internal batteries on my pin pointer. That bites. So I'm gonna put this pin pointer on a charger. I'm gonna replace the batteries in the GoPro. I've got another pin pointer that's waterproof to just 20 foot, but that's fine where I'm at. Never used it before in my life, so it's gonna get used today. Anyhow, regrouping. Getting in a lot of lead weights. Man, I am just pulling up handfuls of lead weights down there. Are they around these rocks? Yeah, they're down in between the rocks. Man, there's a... All right, here's the wrap up video of the very first location. Right below the, uh, if I can find a spot where it's not too bright, right below the falls, we are going to go hit below the uh, low water bridge here in a little bit. Found no junker reel. Propane regulator, I believe is what that is. One nickel with no discernible date on there. That's the one I had to pull out with a pair of uh, needle nose pliers that Cindy had just found. That thing is wore out. A whole bunch of weights. There was little crevices of rocks that were just collecting these lead weights. There's some lead weights that I've never even seen. Strange looking lead weight. There's another weird one in here. So anyways, that's all I found. There's a bunch of lead weights, bullet, some junk, one nickel. Let's ease over here and see what Cindy found. Cindy did a little better than I did. She came out of there with a Pakistani knife. I'm sure that's a fine weapon right there. Another pocket knife. A little bit corroded, like a whole lot corroded in there. But it's a pocket knife. 
needle nose pliers that are surprisingly in good shape and she found some big old lead weights also and some aluminum so anyways we're going to stop and eat lunch for a little bit enjoy the view and then we're going to go down below the bridge and uh, hit that spot and see what we can find sure is a pretty swimming hole something loud down there fine looking pen well that was a dud super shallow water and full of string algae Cindy's toughing it out in there she's still looking finding lead weights kind of like what I was doing just pulling lead shot out of the out between the rocks <laughs> 